Okay. We are at Walmart. I'm waiting for my grocery pickup. We're gonna make some yummy soup today, hopefully. I think we're gonna stop at the thrift store on the way home, possibly. I'm kind of on the hunt for a set of, like a dresser, or like a set of drawers. So that's the, that's the plan. Look back there. Trip number one to the restore. Probably gonna have to make two. This is like all the large items I wanna get rid of, but I have already started a box of little things I wanna get rid of. So we're probably gonna have to do two trips. Load number two. In case you're uh, asking this, yes. That has a ton of stuff. My car's, I mean, it's not full, full. But this is way more than I thought I was going to take on my second load. I thought maybe one plastic box of knickknacks. But I just kind of got in the zone and I got a bit ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It's Thursday, I am enjoying my new nice living room here. This is my super classy setup for Skyrim. Um, you may be asking yourself, self, why is she playing Skyrim? And I'm gonna tell you. I spent about two hours at Panera roughing out episode 15 of Dazer and Eleanor. It just... You know, when you're trying to get into your character's shoes, so to speak, when you're trying to role play that in your head so that you can depict it believably for your readers, sometimes you just get sucked in a little more than you planned, and it, man, <laughs> this morning's episode kind of drained me um, mentally and emotionally. Because while, while you're dealing with the emotions of your characters, which is like, I didn't ask for this, um, you know, I'm also trying to compose the pages nicely, compose the camera angles and the dialogue and the word balloons, just all of that. So anyway, I just was really focused this morning for those two hours, really sucked into the moment, and as a result, I feel like a little bit of a wreck. I am actually really pleased with how it came out, and I think I am like pretty confident all my readers are gonna have the same reaction that I did, which is good. Like, it feels like a good episode. It just required, like, every fiber of my creative being <laughs> in order to come into existence. So, that is a very long way of explaining why we are gonna play Skyrim. There's an arrow in my head. There we go. It's gone. All of that work, and that's all there is in here? What? Alright, 
so here we come to the voiceover part of the vlog and it is a long one <laughs> because I have a lot of footage to over voice <laughs> okay so this this spring break I had so many grand plans that involved drawing I thought about doing a 24-hour comic book day like you draw 24 pages in 24 hours I thought about um, like redrawing the first episode of Sugar Serpent. I thought about like just drawing Dazer and Eleanor from dawn till dusk. So, so many plans. <laughs> um, but essentially like I took Monday off. I did like nothing on Monday. It was awesome. Just potatoed around and played Skyrim and hung out with family. So that was pretty cool. And then Tuesday, finding this dresser, uh, <laughs> it was like... It like triggered my spring cleaning mood. I don't know. It just, man. So, so the, here's the thing was the dresser was originally going to go in my closet. So I figured I needed to clean out my closet. Okay. And then it didn't fit in my closet. It had to go somewhere else, which meant that the plant stand that was in my bedroom had to move. That meant stuff in my living room had to move. And, um, I do like, I'm not a hoarder. But I do have a tendency to buy neat or cute furniture. And then after I get home, I try to figure out how to use it. Um, so yeah, it did <laughs> two carloads, impromptu, two carloads of stuff to the ReStore to donate. Um, it feels really, really amazing to get rid of all that stuff. Like my house feels so clean. I have way, way fewer like clutter points the main clutter points are in my kitchen i didn't clean out the cabinets um and then my art room with all my art supply stash <laughs> so but other than that i just oh, so many piles of things that have been put away properly so many large items that i just didn't need i had like i just yeah i just had so much excess um and it feels amazing to have it all gone i think my one <laughs> My one kind of sort of regret is um, it kind of felt like my house was finally neat and clean and back in order just in time for my spring break to be over, which is, you know, a bummer. But um, the last couple of days, just going about my daily routine and finally getting some art in, in a nice clean, just clean space, orderly space. Like it just... It, it has felt amazing the last few days. Um, still very much loving my dresser. Still very happy with my organization. So, yeah, that's not what at all. Not at all what I had planned for this spring break. But I feel like in a way, it it is equipping me to go forward in a much better headspace. Because this kind of project, like a deep clean project like this, does take like two days. Um, I feel like the, like day one is sort of just like tearing everything apart and sorting it into like where it's gonna go and then day two is putting everything back together and making trips to donate stuff and all that so um and that's the kind of project that I can't tackle with my day job generally speaking um because you know I only get a few hours in the evening after work and tackling a project like this it just would have gone on for days and days so Ultimately, ultimately, I'm glad that I did it. Um, I just, you know, got to have a moment of silence for the art that didn't happen because I was busy um, overhauling my house. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, obviously you're watching this painting. I did get some art done. And then in a little bit, you'll see some of the pages that I was able to pencil. Um, I talked a little bit about episode 15 being draining and making me feel like a wreck I can't go into too much detail patrons will get to see it in advance but um there are certain scenes certain moments in Dazer and Eleanor that have been like in my mind for a long time like they, I like I know they're part of the story and so whenever I get to those moments even if it's not a particularly intense or emotional moment if it's something that I've been imagining for a long time bringing it to life always just kind of feels like a little bit surreal like like it's hard for me to believe that I have 
the skills and the tools to bring this story to life sometimes. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's like I have an out of body realization that I'm an artist making the comic that I want to make. So anyway, I did not like actually cry, <laughs> but I just had this moment of, uh, what would you call it? It wasn't even sadness wasn't like a negative feeling. I think it was just, I really put, I, this, this episode is going to take a lot out of me. Um, I think it was like just emotionally tired, like vulnerable. I, here's the thing. I did not actually cry, but I was like one cute or emotional moment away from crying. <laughs> so, uh, but I managed to keep it together and I went, you know, did a little bit of just window shopping, walking around, all that kind of stuff. And then I was, I was fine. Um, it just, it sometimes catches me off guard because I don't know, I'm the one writing the story. I know what's going to happen. So it still catches me off guard when, uh, creating the story sort of hits me <laughs> as the writer. I would assume that it wouldn't hit me like that, but it just, it just does sometimes, sometimes. Um, so yeah, I, I got, <laughs> I didn't get what I wanted to get done. I didn't do what I wanted to do this past week, but, um, I think I got some really good stuff done. I really love the way my house looks and I'm so, so, so pumped to work on episode 15. You guys have no idea. Like it's, <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Um, what else? Um... Let's see, this past Saturday, um, I did not put up a new comic episode. My flatter was gone. And uh, as I may have mentioned, I spent the week cleaning my house. And so just not much comic progress really happened on the current episode, episode 14. So um, I decided not to like force myself to get it done because I just wasn't up to it. So <laughs> I couldn't, so I didn't. Um, so that was kind of a bummer, but I did get another episode of the Sugar Serpent Saga up for patrons. So if you want to know more about this character that you see here, Toby, he's his store is over on Patreon. Well, his story will be on Patreon. It's kind of just his pictures right now on Patreon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the week. Uh, it was a weird, weird spring break in some ways, but lots of fun. Lots of good stuff got done. Um... Yeah, yeah, I don't, re I don't really regret it, you know. <laughs> I don't really regret it. It was a good break. Okay, so here we are at the end of the vlog. Um, I did, so I roughed out the episodes uh, 15 and then I did make myself go to Panera and actually start penciling. Um, I don't want anyone to think that like this episode, I don't, <laughs> I don't like want to spoil it, obviously. Um, so I didn't want anyone to like leave thinking that I was like sad over this episode. Because it's not, it's not a sad episode. I will give you that. It's not a sad episode. Um, but just certain episodes, I feel like I really dive into the characters. And I, it takes me a while to dig myself back out. <laughs> it's super healthy mentally. <laughs> um, but no, this, this actually was a really pleasant way to end the week. After I'd focused so much on like, kind of just resetting and purging my environment and kind of getting my house the way I wanted. Um, it felt nice to just sit and draw and have a clean house to come home to. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.